Alla periferia di Kiev, ormai da parecchi mesi dell'anno scorso, un gruppo di volontari, di studenti di ingegneria, di fisica, si sono messi insieme, l'abbiamo visto fin dall'inizio della guerra, per costruire droni, droni di ogni tipo, adattamento di droni alla guerra e soprattutto quello che chiamano il drop system, il sistema per lanciare granate a caduta libera sui nemici. Cosa che ha permesso agli ucraini di vincere sostanzialmente la prima fase della guerra, soprattutto qui attorno a Kiev, paralizzando dal terrore anche i russi che venivano colpiti in modo molto preciso, specialmente le fanterie, dal cielo, da migliaia di questi piccoli droni, da loro costruiti, modificati, adattati. In particolare il, il direttore di questa Kajá Fly, Kajá Fly vuol dire eh, Kajan Fly, che vuol dire pipistrello, è il nome della loro azienda, azienda che ha allo stesso tempo laboratorio, come vedete qua attorno, laboratorio, fabbrica e campo di addestramento, perché loro qui eh, ogni giorno hanno corsi per ufficiali, soldati che stanno su tutte le linee del fronte, da Bakhmut a Kherson al sud di Zaporizia, eh, che utilizzano droni tutto il giorno. Alexei Asanov ha 29 anni, è giovanissimo, è un laureato in fisica, una high tech, lavora nelle industrie qui a Kiev e lui con un gruppo di amici si è messo a costruire i droni fin dall'inizio della guerra, fin dal maggio, aprile, maggio dell'anno scorso. Uh, Alexei, is the drone the arm of the war? Yes, sure. Uh, the actual war is all about the drones and uh, we are uh, in a competition with the Russians on this technology war, the war of drones. Uh, the drone that uh, costs only 200 or 300 bucks uh, could make the job of a javelin that costs 70,000 for one shot. So uh, that's why we are developing drones and uh, working with it because it's a future. And if we want to want this war, Uh, we should use the drones. You were telling us before that one of the problems of the counteroffensive at the moment is that while last year the advantage, technological advantage uh, of the Ukrainian world very big, immense, very important, today the Russians have learned from you actually, they developed The government developed, uh, helped the Russian industry, the Russian technology to uh, build drones. Uh, yes, uh, uh, we have invented the usage of uh, FPV drones and other drones, and the Russians just copied uh, it, and uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, governmental programs uh, that help them to uh, uh, manage develop a lot of drones like thousands hundreds and uh, so on for now in ukraine uh, the most of drones are developing uh, by volunteers and uh, yes we have also uh, like the secret programs and like kind of secret projects uh, that there doesn't know uh, about them but uh, uh, we need more drones we need a lot of like hundreds of thousands of drones. If you would, uh, we would win the war very fast. So one of the questions is also that your government today looks like Soviet Union. It's more, <laughs> is more rigid than the, 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 the most that the Putin government. I mean, the, the, today, today you are behind the Russian. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not really behind. Uh, we are like uh, probably on the same on the, the same, same level. On the same you level. lost your advantage. Yes, but we, we need the advantage. So we have to, to work very fast to uh, get back this advantage. And uh, 
we need the support from the government, all volunteers need the support and uh, if we would get uh, the support, uh, we would work, we basically work and uh, without the government or programs and so on. Uh, our government uh, makes a lot, basically, you can see it, uh, the tanks, the F-16s, the uh, and so on and so on, like uh, uh, that uh, the volunteers cannot manage. The volunteer cannot uh, bring the tank to the battlefield, you know, but uh, but we need their support uh, at uh, drones developing more. Anti-jamming. You Russian are learning how to jam your missile, your drones, your even airplanes. But you told me you have some new weapon now. You are developing some jamming, anti-jamming, which will jam the Russian anti-jamming. Something like that, right? Uh, this is a little secret in our drones. So the drones we are developing, uh, they will have the system that could help go through the jamming and just uh, don't see it uh, and that's it so all the jumps in the nearest future uh, will be not affected. So this is one of the last invention you are working on, what is this? Uh, this is actually a ray transmitter that could expand the range uh, of fly of a drone.